This is going to be a love reading, general love reading for the sign of Leo. Hi, Leo. I was just putting on my chapstick. Okay, let's dive right in. Uh, oh, I gotta get this stuck out. Hold on. So, I am going to be using the Light Sears deck, the Rider Tarot. Um, where's another one? Oh, this one, the love deck for your shadows to see if you have any shadows in love. And I'm going to be using the heal yourself reading cards for your spirit message. <clears throat> These ones. Okay. Let's start right in Leo, shall we? Okay. What deck are we starting out with, Spirit? I think we're going to start out with the Light Seers. Okay, we're reading now for Leo for May. Um, if you are new to my channel, uh, just so you know, all of my readings are timeless. So whenever you find this reading, it's for you. Um, also, if you are a past subscriber, welcome back. Welcome back. Okay. What do we got for Leo? What do we have for our beautiful Leos? Leo, we got for Leo. What do we got for Leo? I had to scoot up a little bit. We're really far away from it. Ah! What's going on? My God. The struggle is real. Four cards to start out with. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages and to connect with the collective energy. Story of Leo in regards to their love life. Spirit guides, angels. Here we go. Four cards, please, for Leo. Whoa! Right off the bat, we got the lovers. Ooh, we. What are you trying to decide about Leo and your love life? Six of Cups. Holy smokes. Mm. Sorry, I have. So, I don't know if you all remember, but I was, I was having some issues with um, a cyst that I had in my breast area. This, in this right breast. And I got it... Um, I don't even know what it's called. I had a biopsy where they take some material out of your breast and they analyze it and they see. Hold on one second. Okay, so I had a biopsy where they will take some some the material out of your breast and they analyze it and see what's going on with, you know, the whole skin cells and whatever. So, um... Yeah, I, I've been having those same cysts sort of returning again. I can feel them. And um, they they come and go depending on where I am in my cycle. <laughs> They're fun. Uh, so, you know, different things aggravate them. And I haven't had a lot of issues with them, honestly. Like I had one and then it went away. And then I had another one and then it went away. And then... Just this month, I had another one appear, and I'm like, what the heck? Because this had been, like, months, months and months and months of, like, like almost a year of me not having any issues, and all of a sudden, it was just like, boom. So, you know, just shadow work things um, that have been causing me to overwork my body, you know, so it was bound to happen, so, you know, as above, so below, so... As soon as I get those shadows completely cleared out um, of my of my emotional body, it should clear up in the physical too as well. So, working on it. <laughs> we are all a work in progress, right, Leo? Okay. So, right off the bat, we have the lovers. I am so out of breath. I have no idea why. All of a sudden, it's just like I'm really breathless. I have no idea why. So that might whew, mean something to someone. 
I don't know why. Leo's energy feels very... I don't know. Breath, breathless? Does that make sense? Weird. But anyways, ooh, so right off the bat, there's three sixes here. <laughs> Holy shit. We have the lovers. Which is, excuse me, which is six. Can you see that? We have six of cups. Six. Six of pentacles. Six. Six, six, six. Ooh, we Leo. Okay, so six is the number of spiritual. It's the number of spiritual. I can't talk. Six. Six is the number of spirituality. I'm moving way too fast. The messages are coming too quick, so I'm getting tongue tied. Six is the number of spirituality. People get their panties in a bunch when they hear a 666 and they're like oh it's satan satan was just a person like us um you guys need to do some more research i know it's in the bible the bible is not always the god forsaken truth like <laughs> there's a lot of things in there that are completely made up or twisted to fit certain and I don't care, this is going to piss a lot of people off. If you're a Bible thumper, you probably shouldn't be watching me because I guarantee you, you're not going to like what I have to say. But the Bible is basically a, a man-made written book with a lot of hidden truths about spirituality and enlightenment and awakening and ascension. And it is all wrapped in this bundle of and disguised by religion. So most of the the things that are written in the Bible are true in some form or fashion. So, you know, the whole idea of Satan being this like evil <laughs> creature that feeds on people's sin or whatever, I don't know, is completely inaccurate. Um, you know, I, I believe like if you actually go back far enough, you'll understand that Satan was like an actual person. And if he wasn't, he was a representation of um, a, you know, God or king like person, um, you know, who lived at one time. I don't know. I don't, I don't know the full story. I just know that, you know, Satan is not the, the person is not a person with like horns. He was never a fallen angel, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So we're getting off track, but so right off the bat, Leo, we have a, let me take a deep breath. We have this energy of a deep soul connection. Okay, so we have the lovers, which can be a choice in love. Um, it can be the choice to either stay where you're at in regards to your love life or to stay in the past, like looking back. Six of Cups shows me this energy of sort of looking back in the past, maybe longing for something in the past. Um, either way, it's your choice to stay stagnant in your love life or to move forward. The, the lovers also represents a deep soul connection, two people that are perfectly suited for each other. The six of cups also is known as the soulmate card. So this is a deep soul connection, meaning you two old souls have known each other for a long time. Take that out. It resonates. One more card for Leo from this deck, please. I'm reading now for Leo. One more, please. Oh. So, we got five of swords. These two cards coming out back to back. Um, there's something that's bothering you in your love life that is not making sense to you, Leo. And I'm not quite sure what it is yet. So, I'm going to pull some more cards on that with the Rider Waite. But it does show me that this... Okay, for those of you Leos that are in a relationship... You know, what's going to happen is your guys' connection is going to get even better, even stronger. Um, there's going to be this reciprocated energy of like give and take, like where you guys sort of balance each other out as far as like giving and receiving love. For those of you Leos that are single, there is a deep soulmate, twin flame, twin soul, whatever you want to call it. The label does not matter. It doesn't, it doesn't fucking matter. 
that is coming in for you. And when it comes in, the energy is going to be very well matched to yours. So your vibration basically has, has like lifted to another level. And so you're going to call in someone who is more suited to you. It's not going to be like a lower vibrational shitty connection, which you've been used to attracting in the past, maybe because you know, you were working on your vibration or your vibration was shifting so quickly that nobody could keep up or whatever the reason. This is a vibrational match to you where you, both of your energies are completely, perfectly suited to each other. There's going to be equal give and take as far as love, reciprocation, um, give and take. You know, this person is going to give as much love as you give. I mean, normally, I know Leo's like we give so so much you know i'm a leo so i i can speak from experience we give so much when we get into a relationship where we find someone that we love because you know a lot of leo's love language is is giving so we give and we give and we give we give money we give gifts we give time we give affection you know we give attention and then a lot of the times what happens is nobody has big love like leo so we don't ever get it back. And then what happens is we go, well, we're wasting your time. You know, Leo, I'm wasting my time. I'm wasting my time. But I feel like this new connection that comes in for you single Leos, they're going to, whenever you give, they're going to give it right back. It's going to be like a boomerang effect. Okay. You've truly met your match with this person. And then you have five of swords. So something is not sitting well um, in, in regards to your love life. I don't, I'm not quite sure what it is yet. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull some more cards. Why do we have the five of swords here for our Leos? Tell me more about the five of swords in regards to this connection that Leo has. Why do we have this five of swords? Can we get some more clarification? And uh, these cards, please, spirit, four more cards. Focusing now on the Five of Swords. Why do we have this card here, please? Five of Swords. Ooh, the Hanged Man. Okay, so we got the Five of Swords, and it looks like this person is sort of worried, stressed out, thinking, overthinking something. It's like there's this energy of like wanting to let go and be like this surrendered being in the background, right? But there's something that's preventing you. It's like the birds are just like flying all over in your brain, Leo. And you're like, um, I, I can't relax and settle into this energy of love that's coming in. And the hanged man shows me that you're starting to see things in your love life in a new perspective. But you're not used to re getting the love back that you give out. And so this is a brand new feeling of learning to trust the universe and trust what the universe has brought in for you. And so there's this momentary like pause of like reflecting on what you've learned and you're trying to figure out, is it okay to trust these feelings or this love or this person? And can I trust myself? Oh, so we just had we just had two cards fly out. We gotta we gotta check these out. So you know I like to call these cards a pop out side energy. We have three of pentacles and we have four of cups. So the four of cups is about um still feeling not satisfied with your your whatever is going on in your emotions. It's this feeling of still not being able to trust what the universe is offering. That is just what I talked about. Look, it's the universe offering you a cup of love and saying, look, I'm bringing in this person. <laughs> I'm bringing in this, these, this, your lover, your, your counterpart. And you're going, I'm not so sure. <laughs> and I, I totally get it, Leo. Um, in the past, we've had problems probably, um, for some of you with like third party energy. This is, that's what this is showing me. Like, you know, maybe your person was hung up on someone else or the energy, ooh, and this card popped out, Empress. So for you Divine Feminine Leos, you're, you're sort of sitting in this energy of like your independence. You found your success, you know, whatever success means to you. You know, you're taking care of yourself and you, you don't need anyone to take care of you. So you're sitting in this energy of like beauty and joy and seduction 
and you know that's what's drawing in you know that your counterpart but at the same time i understand leo where you would get this energy of not wanting to trust because in the past you've had to deal with um situations where maybe you were in love with someone and they were in love with someone else and they didn't feel the same way or you know they loved you but you didn't like them and so or you were involved with someone else but someone else wanted you and it was just a huge mess but this i see hold on let me let me just get some more cards i need three more cards please those are just side energies Ooh, would you look at that and it's you <laughs> it's leo energy so we got these three side energies we got four of cups we got three of pentacles we have the empress we have the hanged man which shows me you know a little bit of moments of um sort of reflecting on your past love journeys um being unsure about if this you know love energy that's coming in for those of you that are single whether or not you want to fully give and trust the universe then we got strength <laughs> excuse me which is leo energy which shows me that you've had to be so strong on your own by yourself that card just flew out i gotta see what it is four of swords so see you've got you've done oh my god okay <laughs> Let's back up. You've done a lot of self-reflection. This is showing me too. Meditation, self-reflecting, going in within, trying to find out what makes you tick, doing your shadow work, doing your meditations. Leo, you've been doing the inner work and it's starting to show in your outer reality, right? As above, so below. Whatever you're doing, the inner work, the shadow work, the emotion work, all of the inner childhood trauma healing is starting to show on your outside, okay? That's what I believe draw in is drawing in your counterpart, okay? It's all this self-reflection. One second. Okay, this card right to this card right here too, the strength card. They keep sorry, I take a water break. They keep showing me that this is representative of you taming your inner demons. You've tamed that great lion within you, which can be used for, you know, ferocious, ferocious, what's the word I'm looking for, spirit? <laughs> it can be used for like uh, that ferocious part of the lion. You know, a lion has the capabilities to be ferocious, but this, this lion here is not ferocious. It's probably ferocious when it needs to be, but this lion is tamed see and it was tamed by the gentle energy of the leo see excuse me and it's that eternal self-love which has tamed that inner demon inner demon lion within you and you know that you can always call on that lion when you need to be fierce and strong and get your message across but you can also call upon that gentle patient self-loving creature within every leo right oh it's beautiful energy leo okay can we get one more card for leo please one more card let's sum it up what's the last thing leo needs to know <clears throat> death wow so yes you have been going through this massive scorpio transformation look at that we have two cards of like sort of this okay death sort of state resting going within going within these are all cards of enlightenment and transformation look enlightenment represented by you know the light the crown chakra here the card of enlightenment and also another card of heavy transformation and enlightenment look it there goes that sun peeking up in the background so it's like when you feel like you're you're here you're dead it's like you know you feel like you're dead there goes that sun peeking up everything that you've been waiting for in regards to your love life you just have to trust it <laughs> you have to trust it leo see like right now it might feel like everything is out of control it might feel like you're you know things are not going well for you in in certain areas of your life but it's because Things are being wrecked to make room for new things which are better suited to your new vibration. Things have to crumble. Lessons have to be learned. Old past doors have to be slammed for other doors to be wide open for you. 
So if it feels like you're dying right now, then you're on the right track because you're actually being reborn. This is a huge rebirth for you, Leo. And you got two major, three, I'm sorry, four, five. Okay, did I? I'm done. <laughs> Leo, get the fuck out of my house. We got one, two, three, four, five major arcana for you, my beautiful Leo. You guys are definitely going places. You are on the right track. Holy shit. And can I just say I have chills because this, this great love that you've been waiting for is literally either in your vicinity right now and the person that you feel like who you think it might be is the, your person or if you haven't met them then they're coming in really soon this and I feel like oh there is an arrow this is this is a huge thing for me because I've been seeing bows and arrows everywhere which means divine protection going the arrow always shoots in the right direction. It always goes where it needs to go. The arrow doesn't go, where am I going? Am I on the right path? The arrow just trusts that the bow will thrust it in the right direction so that it goes where it needs to go. You know, it doesn't sit there and look for the target. It trusts that whoever shot it out of the bow, you know, the arrow trusts that it's going to go where it needs to go. Okay, it doesn't look around for the target. It just trusts that the target is there and it's going to either hit the target or it's going to miss the target. Either way, it's going to get where it needs to be. Do you understand what I'm trying to say, Leo? Trust your journey. Okay, you have come such a long way. And my God, all of the signs have been going through massive transformations. I just read for Sagittarius, five major arcanas. This arrow shows me you're on the right path. If you have not met your person yet, your great love is right there under your nose and it's on its way and you have to trust the journey. And you know what? This is well-deserved because you have waited a long time for this energy to come in and I am proud of you. You know, I am. Wow. Okay, so let's draw one more card about this Five of Swords. Why do we have this Five of Swords here, Spirit? Let's wrap it up for Leo. Can you tell me one more significant detail about this Five of Swords and why Leo is having such a hard time trusting and believing in this connection? Oh, it came out in reverse too. That is amazing. Oh my God, I was holding the deck upside down and we realized it. So we have Ten of Swords. This is, you know, this is another card of huge transformation. It literally looks like the person is dead. They're not dead. They feel like they're dead, but they're not dead, right? It's the card of rock bottom, but it came out in reverse. So you know what this means? This card, Ten of Swords in reverse, indicates massive healing and transformation. So right now, Leo, the reason you're feeling like unsure about this whole connection and this whole like love thing is because you are so focused on your own healing and your own transformation, right? That you're, you know, look, this, this whole rebirth right here, this whole journey of enlightenment right here, massive. This is also a card of healing. Look, all cards of healing and massive transformation. So you're going through so much right now as far as like shifting your own personal energy and you're on this journey of complete shedding of your old skin and into this new energy and you've been so focused on yourself that you really are not even worried about your love life. You're sort of just focused on you and I feel like that's why like when it comes in you're sort of like what like this is because you're so focused on your own transformation that when it comes in you're sort of unsure about what to do about it because you're like I'm so busy doing this and healing and doing this and and you know whatever it is that you're doing working out running your own business I, I don't know um that it's sort of like this is the worst time for <laughs> love to sort of touch down and that's it's funny because that's probably why it's coming in because you're so focused on healing yourself. You're at this point where you're like, I want to be the best version of myself. And so you're so focused on your journey and also on healing, you know, yourself for the collective though. It doesn't feel like, you know, 
to me it doesn't feel like leo like you're doing this in a selfish way like oh i'm focused on myself i'm a narcissist i'm you know in my ego it feels like you're trying to do what you feel is in your highest good so that you could be the best version of yourself to help heal the collective and you know you cannot give to the collective without first filling your cup does that make sense? Who? that's the last spirit. <laughs> All right, we're going to do your shadow cards, three cards. If you have any shadows in regards to love, Leo, this is going to show me what those shadows are. And then we're going to do your um, spirit message and we're going to call it a reading. All right, so this has been a beautiful reading. Let's do three shadow cards for Leo. Ooh, we already got two that popped out. What is going on? <laughs> I don't know if they want to take want me to take all these. This is way too many cards. <sighs> okay, we got four cards. <sighs> Let's get one more out. These all came out together in a clump, so I don't even know. Okay. That's it. We're taking. They put one, two, three, four, five, six cards. Okay, we got to go through these quick spirit because this is, this is a lot. Okay, so the first card we got for a shadow, this is 79. This is jealousy. So for some of you Leos or maybe, you know, in the past you've dealt with someone who was like this. You've had a, a shadow of jealousy. So feeling like you... Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that, Leo. All right, so... Maybe some of you have had an issue with jealousy in the past, um, feeling very possessive of your person, sort of this feeling of like, you belong to me. And in truth, you know, that is a shadow because nobody belongs to anyone. We're all free, sovereign beings, right? And so in order to um, trust your person, you have to first trust yourself. You have to say, do I trust myself and not to screw this up? And therefore, when you put trust in yourself, you know that you're doing the best that you can. And you're not, you're not um, doing anything that would, you know, put your relationship in jeopardy. Then you can trust that your person has the exact same moral standards that you do, right? Because like attracts like. And so therefore, you guys would be perfectly matched in energy. So... To conquer that shadow, what you have to do is first learn to trust yourself, Leo. Do you trust yourself to do the best you can moral-wise? And, you know, everyone's different with their morals. In regards to your love life, in regards to your relationship, it's really that simple. Trust yourself, and then you can learn to trust your person. Okay, we also have, that's number 79, all right? Um, we have good timing, which is number 16. So you're in the right place at the right time. Like I told you, I just said this, Leo, you are, are on the right path. There you are. Divine timing. You're going to run into your person when you are meant to and no sooner. You cannot rush this shit, Leo. Okay. We have number 68, deception. Now this is about, this is a shadow. Excuse me. About, um sort of not being honest with yourself about something. Therefore, if you're not being honest with yourself about how you feel about something in regards to your love life, then you're being dishonest to yourself. Therefore, that sets you up for your person to be dishonest with you about how they feel as well. Because if you guys are each other's mirrors, you have to come to grips to what it is that you're hiding from yourself in regards to your love life. You know, are you not giving yourself enough self-love? Um, are you not being honest about how you feel about someone? Um, therefore, you know, your person's going to mirror that same shit back to you. So they're going to, you know, mirror the lack of self-love or the lack of, you know, not, not being honest about how they feel about you or whatever. Because, you know, like attracts like. So keep that in mind, Leo. Okay, one second. All right, so I was just looking at this good timing and the jealousy nine and seven is 15 five and one you add that up and that's six again and then we got six from 16 and then we got six here from 68 deception there's 666 again and then you have um number 63 there's another six and six and three wow six three nine those are all very significant numbers for you, Leo, it, it's literally, there's a lot of threes. It's literally three, six, nine. So some kind of 
electric magnetic energy force bringing you and your person together it's it's crazy all right so the card that came out after deception is intimacy it's 34 that's number seven so seven's the number of luck intimacy hold on Okay, Leo, I'm sorry, I apologize. I keep getting interrupted, and this reading is so important. Spirit is just like, this is so important. So, we have the intimacy card, um, which is a luck card. It's basically saying that you're in the right place at the right time. So, whatever, whenever your person comes in, it's all, it's all divine timing. It literally says good timing. Um, and the intimacy that, that happens when you do run into your person, it's going to be very sort of organic and flow naturally. Nothing is going to be forced. It's going to feel very natural. You have the sun on here twice, which represents lots of joy and happiness. Okay, in this connection, if you can just conquer these shadows that you have in regards to love, the jealousy, the deception... So after this, we have withdrawal. So this is a feeling of sort of wanting to be alone. And yes, I feel like some of you Leos might be so comfortable being alone and you're so used to being alone because you may um, have been separating yourself from the collective in order to sort of heal. And you are going through this huge transformation. So of course, it's going to feel like you want your first instinct is going to want to be to sort of alienate yourself and be like you know I, I need to be alone because you're trying to process a lot of emotions and shadows right now I mean look you got one two three four shadow cards in regards to love and you know in order to love and be your best self you're gonna have to conquer these shadows and you and you're all ready and for it Leo right so you're gonna have this natural desire to want to withdraw but this is showing up as a problem. So sometimes when we, when you withdraw and you get so comfortable being alone, then you sort of get out of this groove of like knowing how to interact with other souls. And I feel like a lot of people are going to want to experience your light and your transformation right now. And you're going to have to sort of deal with this issue of wanting to be alone because... It is very important for you right now, Leo, to shine your light because that is what's going to draw your person into you. Now, if your light is, is not being shown, how will your person know to come and sort of be with you and know that you're ready, right? If they don't see you shining your beacon, right? So if they don't see you shining your light. So how is this ship supposed to find you if you're not shining your light like the lighthouse that you are naturally, right? It sounds very similar to a reading that a friend just did for me. That's insane. This reading has gotten too long. I'm going to have to freaking splice it into one. This is ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> but life is beckoning you to come and you're sort of wanting to be alone and, you know, it's only a shadow if you allow it to be, Leo. Remember that it's important for you to shine your light as much as possible, okay? And give up this whole idea of I need to be alone in order to heal because you could still be around people and still heal, okay? That is just, that is just a, um, a what's it called? A, a story that people tell themselves. And, you know, it's just a boundary. It's, um... Is not necessarily truth, okay? There, that's nine again. Six and three is nine. Okay, in the last shadow we have number 70. Again, we have another seven. You guys have all repeating numbers, just so you know that. We got sixes, we have eights, threes, nines, and sevens. That's uh, it's absolutely amazing. Okay, so the last card we got is infidelity. So... This is energy of either you or your partner in the past not being faithful and completely present with your partner. Maybe you've strayed with other people or your partner has. Now, if this is coming up as a shadow, okay, you have to ask yourself, if you have been cheated on in the past, and I know I have dealt with this shadow 
often. <laughs> I have been cheated on lots of times, okay? So I am very familiar with this shadow, Leo. So let me give you some word of advice. Anytime that your partner is cheating on you, you have to ask yourself, where have I cheated on myself? Where have I cheated um, somehow and not given myself what I deserve? Where have I diverted my attention away from myself? Where have I not given myself 110%? Okay, because this energy of cheating comes from somehow cheating yourself out of what you truly deserve. Your partner is not going to reflect that shadow back to you unless somehow you've reflected it out to them and therefore it's boomeranged back to you. Does that make sense? <clears throat> also, you can also heal this shadow by dealing with your feelings of abandonment and rejection. Now that's going to have to go way back for some of you to past lives. Um, it could also go back to like the parent child relationship. You know, some of you may have to go back and literally reparent your inner child, you know, that baby that maybe felt abandoned in the crib when your mother had to go take a pee. I mean, I don't know. It could be something as simple as that. As, you know, mother got a phone call and maybe you wanted to snuggle and she had to put you down and then she had to be on the phone for a while because something was going on in her life. And at that moment, you felt abandoned and you felt cheated out of that love from your mother. So any, any of those little things like that can show up in the form of this shadow of infidelity of your partner cheating on you because therefore you've you have issues with cheating yourself out of things that you know you deserve um you have issues with feeling abandoned or you know scared to lose someone that you love you know generally if you have these fears of like being alone or your person leaving you they will subconsciously pick up on that and they will turn around and make that fear reality because they feel that energy. And if that wound is not healed, then that wound will keep resurfacing with your partner cheating on you and cheating on you and cheating on you and cheating on you until you deal with those issues that are causing the infidelity. So abandonment issues, um, not feeling good enough, uh, cheating yourself out of things, energy like that will create an imprint energy or a field <clears throat> around you, which will draw that trauma back to you over and over again until you deal with it feel it and let it go okay so heal that shadow leo because the next person that is coming in the energy is beautiful and we don't want to miss out on something extremely beautiful um because of these shadows and this need to sort of withdraw and be alone okay so before i forget um i have to shout out the person that i got this um from it's a chakra necklace i also well, i don't know I don't have any of the other things right here in front of me, but I do love this chakra necklace. My friend has this beautiful shop that she, um, it's not really a shop, I guess, but sort of like she sells things on Instagram and she goes by Toto, T-O-D-O. -O. There's some numbers after her name, but if you type in T-O-D-O, -O, she should pop up. Her name is Dorothy Henry and she sells beautiful necklaces and crystals. And actually I have, hold on, let me show you these that I have in here. They're Moldavites and I put them in this crystal cage necklace. Um, the Moldavites I got from her as well. My light just, you can't make it up. As soon as I bring the Moldavite up here, it literally, the energy was so strong. It literally shorted out my light. My light went off. My camera light. <laughs> so anyways, that's just, that's just attesting to the power of Moldavite. I have two Moldavite in here. They're both activated for different things. One is for um, abundance. One has been activated and programmed for abundance. Um, if you guys ever purchase Moldavite, you have to program it to do what you want it to do. And you have to do that by meditating on it and holding the stone. So one of these Moldavites is programmed for abundance and the other one is programmed to help me find a sacred living space, aka a home for me and my children. So I have two Moldavite in here um, in this little cage lantern that I got from Dorothy. She sold them to me for a, uh, an amazingly low price. So it was a, it was a fucking steal. Like honestly, um, I don't know how she survives <laughs> because it was a fucking steal. 
but the energy of the Moldavite it definitely takes some getting used to. It's very strong, very, very strong. So if you are not used to the energy of Moldavite, it will take a little bit of getting used to. You know, your heart will race, you'll feel breathless because it is basically a stone of massive transformation, transformational energy. So if you've never had a Moldavite before, they also will do, cause energy fluctuations like things like lights flickering off and on, which is you just experienced here. My light literally, my camera light literally died. Like, let me show you. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going <laughs> to, sorry. I'm going to show you my camera light just went out. Hold on. Uh, let me show you. See, it's gone. As soon as I put the Moldavite up there to show you, it, the, the, the light literally just, um, <laughs> it blew. The energy is, is, and it's charged. I just charged it the last time I did a reading for Aquarius. So it is charged. Moldavite will do that. I've noticed it does. Okay, so let's get Leo's final spirit message. My phone is running out of space. We're already at 41, 11, and I only have till 54, 33. So let's get this reading finished. It's already gone on a really long time. Last message for Leo. Pride. So this is another shadow card. Spirit is saying, make sure that your pride is in the right area. Um, you know, it, it's okay to be proud of yourself when you've done um, wonderful things for like say for instance you give to charity you might be proud that you have such this kind entrepreneur sort of spirit I'm um, not entrepreneur um, humanitarian that's what I'm gonna say humanitarian sort of spirit to like give back it's okay to have pride about that pride it is a shadow when it gets in the way of certain things when you say you know I have too much ego to tell this person that I love them or I have too much ego to learn this lesson because you know I, I've already learned that lesson or whatever you know what I'm saying if you sit there and say I've already done that I've already learned that lesson then you're not learning we're here to constantly excuse me constantly learn constantly learn constantly learn so if you are saying that you're too prideful to learn the lessons which spirit is showing you then you're not learning anything and pride will be that shadow which will come up over and over again. Okay, remember to stay humble, my beautiful Leos. Okay. And again, that's number seven. Look at that. Ooh, you have lucky number seven, 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 seven my beautiful Leos. Okay, so we're all done. That concludes your reading. I made it easier for you guys to book a reading with me. So if you click on the description box, I now have my own website. And I'm going to be a little proud. <laughs> because I have busted my butt and come so far and I literally now have my own website. You can literally type in www.chakrabunnytarot.com and my website will pop up, you guys. And this has been a long time dream of mine, which I'm finally seeing realized and it feels so amazing. So allow me to have this little moment of hubris and pride just to say, like, I have come so far, but all of us have, haven't we? Beautiful Leos, right? So please, please, please for me, do not give up on your dreams. I hope that you can feel the, the fire and the passion in my heart that I feel when I'm helping you guys. I do this for free. Like, the, these readings are free. I don't get paid to do this. I get paid from spirit to do this, right? And it's not about the blessings or I don't I don't do it because I think it makes me a good person and I and I feel like it's gonna help my karma. I do this because I truly love all of you and I want to see you succeed. I hope that you understand that. Everything that I say to all of you is comes from my heart literally being on my sleeve, wanting to see you be your best self out of love for you that is why i do what i do okay i don't make a, a shit ton of money doing this i don't make a lot of money doing readings i do this because it is my soul's calling and yearning to show you ways to get out of 
perceived holes, traps, doo-doo loops, karmic loops, whatever. If, if I can learn ways to break free from shadows and trauma, then you can do it too, my beautiful Leos. I love you guys so much. Um, check out my new shop because I got new shop, new stuff in my shop. I got new merch. And I talk about that. And you can watch my new merch video if you'd like, if you feel guided to. And it tells you about all of my new products and stuff. Leo, I love you. Okay, check out my website. Even if you don't want to purchase a reading because I just, I just want you guys to see it. I just want you guys to see that dreams are possible. Don't give up on yourself, okay? You know, like two years ago, I tried to get my own website and it didn't work out. And now this was the right time. Everything fell into place. And I, and I struggled with Mercury Retrograde. I, I, I fucked up a lot. The website wasn't working for the first two days. I struggled with it. And finally, I said, I am not giving up. I literally said, Mercury Retrograde, fuck you. I'm not giving up. I'm getting this shit done. And I did. And if I can do it, you can do it too, Leo. I'm here to show all of you that dreams do come true. Just don't give up. 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 For God's sake, don't give up. We are all connected to God. And so therefore we create just like God does. I love you, Leo. Bye.